Hi, today I want to share with you uh, information about communication. What do we know about it? So, uh, what are the main factors uh, that allow communication to happen? So, for example, when we are talking with somebody or we are with several people, which are the part of us the more communicate and which are the part of us that least communicate. Um, so, study reveals that the three main factors of communication are words, so basically the language we use to speak, obviously. Um, the second factor is how we deliver those words, so means uh, the tonality of the voice, the pitch of the voice, and even the tempo, for example, how fast or how slow somebody delivers those words. And finally, the third factor is uh, uh, physiology. Physiology is basically our what our body communicates together with the word, with the words and the tonality and pitch and tempo we use for those words. Let's start from uh, the words. Something which kind of shocked me when I when I learned that was that uh, words only communicate and I'm going to use the, the percentage of this study uh, is 7%. So less than 10% whatsoever of the communication between two or more people happens uh, through words, which I found quite shocking. It seems to me very little. The more I learned, the more I will understand that actually that makes sense. With words, when we use words, basically we are creating a, a, a sub subjecting, subjective understanding, uh, subjective communication, because the meaning of a word or several words can be different from one person to another. For example, for a person who who, who doesn't travel a lot, the idea of freedom could be to be traveling a lot, or, or even the idea of su success could be to be traveling a lot. On another sense, a person that already travels a lot, maybe for his or her job, he has an idea of freedom or even success, which is uh, staying at home more time, maybe with the family. So. Again, the, the meaning of words really is subjective to the person who uses. Most many times I think we go we can end up in having misunderstanding through communication if we only attach our attention to words. It can really create uh, miscommunication because if I communicate a meaning through words which the other person uh, does not uh, perceive the meaning of the words I use as I do, that can create a sort of uh, um, misleading conversation. Many, many cases, uh, maybe we could uh, avoid to have this sort of misunderstanding through words just by ask by asking, if we feel a little bit weird about the communication, we can say, what do you mean when you use that word? And possibly once we define the meaning, the subjective meaning of that person uh, words, we can we can maybe relate it to ourselves. Say, ah, that's what it means for you. For me, it means this. Okay, let's let's start from this point now. On the um, so that's why now it kind of makes sense that all words and language only communicate to such a little percentage as seven percent. Then we have the tonality, the pitch, and basically how we deliver the sound. So the words are one thing, and then there is another way, which is um, how we um, bring them to uh, we deliver them we deliver those words and that 
and that the percentage is of 38% of communication happens by the tonality. So apparently it communicates way more the way we say the things than the word itself. And the, the difference is quite a lot. You know, one is 7%, so less than 10%, and the other one it's 38%, so less than 40% of communication. The third factor of communication, which is also the, 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 um, uh, the one that most communicates, is our physiology. So the way, you know, our posture, our uh, facial expression, the way we move our eyes, um, and how our, how our, if we are relaxed or not, our gesturing, and the whole body moving while we talk, uh, we, we communicate through words and through the tonality. This happens kind of unconsciously. I'm looking at myself in the video and I notice while I talk about the topic how much I go kind of back and forward, how I use the hands. I'm not thinking about using the hands and I'm not thinking about all the various expressions that happen in my face. They just happen. That's that sort of subconscious information that shows up through my uh, physiology which is kind of uh, interesting and and the percentage of that communication according to studies is 55 percent so most of the the majority more than half uh, of communication 55 percent of communication happens by uh, the way that our subconscious shows up in our physiology. Um, to wrap up the videos, um, well, just just keep this in mind and then notice how much um, and tell me in the in the comments if you if you find this information uh, obvious or, or, or maybe not that obvious. Uh, remember that the percentages of communication happening 7% by words and the language itself, 38% happens through the way, the, how we deliver it, this information through the voice, and eventually the majority of it, of the conversation of communication, the 55% happens at a subconscious level, which is how our physiology acts while we are communicating it also talking about the the physiology kind of it kind of shows sometimes if we somebody enter a place a room um, and he has a particular energy it kind of feels that even if the person hasn't said anything it's already changing the energy of the room, maybe brought some good energy because it's, the person is extremely happy and it just shows. Or maybe it brings down the energy, the person is not that happy and that shows as well. Um, uh, this is it for the video. Let me know in your comment what you think and if you learned anything, uh, share the video if you like and I hope you get something useful out of it. Have a good day.